Our top story at this hour, the 20th Communist Party Congress has started its closing ceremony with Xi Jinping likely to seal his unprecedented third term in power. The ceremony is currently taking place behind closed doors and in no time from now, China will find out as to who will be running the country alongside the president and the party general secretary, Xi Jinping. The country's senior political leadership will be revealed on Sunday, and it comes after a week of closed-door meetings among the 2,300 party dele delegates who will approve a reshuffle of the party's top leadership. The delegates, which range from provincial officials to different economic sectors, will rumpus stamp their approval for the party's work report, which will be an abbreviated version of what the Chinese President Xi Jinping had delivered during his opening ceremony on 16th of October. During the one hour and 45 minutes speech, the Chinese President celebrated China's crushing of Hong Kong's autonomy and warned Taiwan that the wheels of history are turning towards the island, Beijing taking control of the island's democracy. Apart from this, the new Central Committee will also approve a reshuffle of the 25-member Politburo, as well as the Politburo Standing Committee, which is China's apex of power. Lyle J. Goldstein, Director of Asia Engagement at Defense Priorities, is joining us to talk more about this. He is live from Barrington, Rhode Island. Lyle, welcome to We On. So nice to be here, Eric. Thanks for having me. Xi Jinping, who is poised to clinch a third five-year term as China's leader, will tomorrow preside over the most dramatic, dramatic moment of the Congress and reveal the members of its elite Politburo Standing Committee. Lyle, why is this important and always kept secret? Well, it's quite a mystery to all of us. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think we're all uh, puzzling to some extent over the inner workings of the uh, uh, higher echelons of the Communist Party, um, but uh, it's also clear that uh, probably some uh, new blood, new leadership, uh, if you will, a new generation of uh, Chinese leaders uh, is uh, due to take the stage. So I think um, we'll certainly be uh, watching very carefully uh, who are taking up these, uh, these uh, posts around Xi Jinping uh, from my understanding, you know, there has been no hint of a successor, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think it's fair to say that that is already on, on many people's minds. Lyle, what's your prediction? What do you think uh, the standing committee will choose? Younger generation or just loyalist? Mm. I expect... Uh, a bit of a mix uh, in there, um, you know, that there's definitely going to be uh, some turnover, but uh, clearly um, uh, the party does value loyalty extremely highly, you know, that's obvious. Um, uh, on the other hand, Xi Jinping, you know, um, he uh, himself, um, I think, has, has uh, you know, his own sort of bold vision for China, mm -hmm. uh, very confident in his views and his uh, approach to leadership. So, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he uh, sees the need to, to bring in uh, similarly uh, broad thinking and, uh, you know, some, some uh, young leaders with, with uh, some flair. So, you know, I, I, I do think there will be uh, some degree of, uh, generational turnover. That said, though, I mean, this is a highly conservative regime right. that is uh, very concerned about stability and security. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, I don't think any kind of dramatic change is in the offing. I, if there's one way to summarize the uh, party Congress, it seems to be um, uh, the, the news is that there's no news. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Lyle, the makeup of the standing committee and the identity of the premier matter less than they once did because she has moved away from a tradition of collective leadership. Do you agree with that statement? Well, that certainly is the prevailing wisdom. 
again, it's hard to know what is uh, really going on uh, on the inside. You know, uh, my understanding has, uh, you know, you know, she, we in the China field, we would often say that she is is uh, not so much a uh, party bureaucrat, but we called him a princeling. A princeling meaning his father was a very important party figure. And uh, it's been described that princelings in the Chinese leadership uh, have a very um, uh, a much bolder approach to leadership. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I do think uh, tr true to that uh, theory of Chinese uh, elite politics, she indeed has uh, uh, moved with a lot of confidence and um, probably uh, you know, been a, a less of a consensus builder uh, and more of a, a pulling pulling his team along. Mm -hmm. um, so I expect that to, to continue. But, uh, you know, whether uh, the next, uh, you know, leader or the, the younger leaders coming on are more, as you put it, uh, bureaucratic loyalists or, or uh, more in the uh, kind of, as I said, princeling mold is uh, yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. Let's talk about the economy. Market watchers say that the Congress has been a disappointment and the hopes of reviving the China market are still very slim. What impact will this have in the long run, Lyle? Well, I know that people are uh, somewhat disappointed with the latest economic uh, figures, and I, I think some reporting was uh, delayed as a result, you know. Uh, um, and it's fair to say that China is, um, if not an economic crisis, but is, is facing some economic headwinds, that's for sure. And of course, the Chinese economy is so big that when China faces headwinds, the whole world is similarly impacted. So, you know, I think all around the world, we're hoping that uh, China will move into a more robust uh, uh, growth pattern. But um, you know, they're not there yet. Uh, they haven't fully uh, tackled the, I think, the uh, pandemic and how they want to deal with it going forward. Uh, but I see, do see some signs of opening up, uh, normalizing. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I myself uh, am bullish on China. I think that um, there will continue to be great investment opportunities and that China's uh, role in the economy in the global economy will will continue to grow in parallel with that of India. I understand India has the uh, maybe the one of the world's hottest economies right now. So good on you folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll have to end this discussion here. I've been talking to Lyle J. Goldstein. Thank you very much for talking to Weon today. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.